winner. Good job. A popular spot to spend a summer day, thousands of people have come to enjoy. The thrilling rides, addicting games, Two years of games. Three and all around good time at Kings Island. With all the excitement, it can be easy to forget about the workers who are behind all the fun. Over 100 of them are international students who have come to the United States to work for Kings Island and have what they call a cultural experience. Don Helbig, the park's public information officer, calls the program a great opportunity. Well, they're here, they're learning about, uh, you know, how things are in our country, but they're also, you know, having an opportunity to, to meet a lot of people, uh, you know, both the associates here, our guests that come to the park, and, uh, you know, make a lot of friends, and also, you know, earn some money over the summer. But the students who signed up through an agency to come here have a different opinion. Frank and Miguel from the Dominican Republic say the experience is not what they expected, and they are disappointed. I don't like the, this experience. For me, it's terrible. You know, I paid a lot of money to come here, and I was expecting, like, to have a better lifestyle. A better way of living than conditions he calls much worse than what he's used to at home. The apartments Kings Island provided the students are undergoing serious renovations. Along with the inconvenience of living in an area under construction, each apartment costs $1,200 a month to rent. With wires hanging from the ceiling, ripped up carpets, and even mold, some, like Frank, simply worry about their safety. Well, uh, for me, I don't like the place, you know, the, the life conditions. Uh, you know, it's safe for me because the apartment is old. It has many problems. Kings Island chose this apartment complex for the students at the last minute. After original housing at the Kings Island hostel was full, students found out about the switch through an email they got just one day before arriving, and the new place left out some of the amenities the students were promised in the travel and employment information packet. Computer and internet access, available telephones, and even assistance with locating a second job in the area. Jorge, also from the Dominican Republic, says the students got none of this. All they got were two air mattresses on the floor. It's not fair that we come, we come to a development country that we admire a lot over there, and then we get these minimum uh, living re requirements. What the students are most upset about is not being able to see the country they admire. The apartment complex is in Westchester, miles away from anything to see or do. The closest thing to them is a Walmart. And the closest bus stop is three miles away. We are like complaining more because there's transportation problems. The students say their only transportation is a van that runs six days a week and only to and from the park. Elbick says he has plans to take the students to see things like a Reds game or museum, but he hasn't arranged it yet. The trips are uh, in the planning stages and they'll start taking place once we get into July. But for now, the students will just have to wait for the cultural experience they were promised. Frank and Jorge say they feel trapped. I live in the jail here because I can go only work in the home. I feel in the jail. I want to see Cincinnati. I want to get the student part because there is a lot of students over there and it's summer. That's how you're supposed to do it. Go summer and have fun. But well, we don't have fun. But Helbig says he was never told about the complaints the international students were making, even though the students say they made several attempts to talk to their manager without any success. We want the students to have uh, the best experience they possibly can, and uh, you know, if they're not, uh, we'll certainly look into it and make sure that uh, the situation is, is rectified and they can have the experience that they were looking forward to. But the students say it's too late. This is the American experience they got, and these are the memories they'll have to take home. Ida Mogos for Channel 9 News.